We're going to go back to the stories of those heroic teachers who saved so many at Briarwood Elementary School. This is the scene just after the tornado hit. So many students and teachers walking around in shock, as you can imagine. And joining us now live are two of the first grade teachers whose training and quick thinking helped save countless lives. We say good morning to Sherry Biddle and Cindy Lowe, and we are so thankful that you're doing as well as you are this morning and, and thinking of everyone in that area. Sherry, can you describe for us what it was like when the tornado hit your school? It was just unlike anything I've ever experienced to have those children there and to be in my care and to try and do what was best for them. And what did you do? I know you put books on their heads. You, The teachers were you know, laying your bodies right on top of my theirs. Class goes to, my class goes to um, PE, music, and art at the very end of the day. And so we had already prepared our backpacks. And they had their bear binders and homework folders in their backpacks. and so. I had them take their backpacks and put them over their heads just as another safety precaution as they were down in the corner in the center of our room, in the center of our building. And Cindy, you were in the same building across from Sherry's room. What was it like for you when it hit your classroom? Um, <laughs> well, I had actually stepped out of my classroom to let a parent um, into the classroom because she was an assistant teacher in the cl in the school, and um, I actually saw the tornado coming um, and knew how serious it was and was just trying to calm the children down. Um, but yes, more of the same, just like Sherry said, giving getting them covered up. Um, you know, we practice tornado drills and things like this, and I had to tell them this is not a drill. Um, and we need to be safe and um, just laying my body on top of as many kids as I could to help out. And I know a wall came down and you all um, had to dig yourselves out. And, and Sherry, what was it like when everybody finally got out and you saw people being, especially parents, being reunited with their children? It was just heartbreaking to see the tears of joy of how happy they were that their child was safe and that they could finally get to them. It was so hard for the parents to actually get to their children. I had a student that stayed with me until 8 p.m. last night because his parents could not get mm. to the location there by the school that we were at. Um, the, the, he had to just park and end up walking. Parents walked for miles just to get to their children. They were out of breath and crying, but so happy to see them and just know that they were safe. Uh, well, Sherry and Cindy, thank you very much for being with us this morning. And thankfully, everyone in your school safe and sound. We know that's not the case everywhere. You know that as well. We're thinking of those families as well. You take care. And thank you very, very much to both of you. Be well. Thank you. Thank you. What George. a gift those yeah. teachers are.